Victor Rosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitch. Both squads have some good arms, and a team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. It's the moment these players have been waiting for. Game one of the Fall Classic is on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2019 Miami Marlins. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Matty, they have to be very happy with Alex Bregman right now. Looking at his stats, I was really impressed with the fact that he's hit four bombs in his last ten games. Lately, he's been the guy to watch, and I think he's ready to do some more damage right now. Chris Sale gets the call on the mound here at home for game one of the World Series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Thanks, Matt. Chris Sale, you're talking about one of the premier pitchers in the game of baseball. Big fastball, 95 to 98 miles an hour. Wipe out slider. Great comparison. He's the closest thing we've seen to Randy Johnson. A nightmare against lefties. Three pitch guy, fastball, slider, and a changeup that's getting better all the time. He is a definition of a true ace. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And let's take a look at Starling Marte, another one of those super athletic outfielders of the new regime. Ability to cover ground, can play multiple positions in the outfield, and hit in the middle of the order. Leaving off tonight for Houston, second baseman, Jose Altuve. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And this is hauled in on the run for the out. And he had a lot of ground to cover to get to that one. Here's Michael Brantley, lifetime against Chris Sale. He has seven hits in 36 at-bats. He's gone down on strikes 12 times as well. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Game time temperature a comfortable 76 degrees. Bases are empty one man out. We got it. Brantley playing here in his age 31 season. He's an 11 year vet at the major league level so he certainly put together a nice career in professional baseball. Yeah Matty you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. Taylor backs up and takes care of it. Two away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Next up for the Strohs, Carlos Correa. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone.
It's a solo shot here for Carlos Correa. His first homer so far in the series, and the Astros take a one to nothing lead. We were wondering who was going to strike first with the long ball. What a moment for him right there. Home run the World Series. No one can ever take that away from you. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Hey, I know there's a lot of game left, but that is such an important run there in the top of the first. Try and silence this crowd. I can't tell you in postseason play, one run feels like three or four. Behind 0-2 now. Two out, nobody on. Frames him for strike three, and that retires the side. Astros off and running on the solo homer. Home half of the first coming up from Miami. And Houston's off to an early 1-0 lead. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, Matt, I'm going to be paying close attention to Starling Marte. This is the guy you wanted to play when the game is on the line. He thrives in these situations. It's almost like he goes to bed and says, I can't wait to play because the game is going to come down to me and I'm going to make something happen. He thrives on performing in the big moments. Garrett Cole is on the mound here on the road for game one of the World Series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, five full innings for this guy in his last one. You couldn't really consider that a powerhouse outing. He was able to get a no decision, but I'm sure he and the team are looking for a lot more in this one today. Time for a look at the Strohs on D. And can we focus on George Springer, one of the more dynamic outfielders in our sport? He will leave his feet. He's got a cannon for an arm, not afraid to dive in and say hi to the fans if the ball's going near there, too. Do not test this guy's arm. Digging in, Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the Leading bottom half the of the bottom. first. Better fielder, Starling Marte. First pitch of the at bat. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. His career line against Garrett Cole. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Here comes the 0 1. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. That's a well-placed fastball right there. Just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. The next 0-2. Swung on and missed strike three. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Standing in now, Chris Taylor. Here we go. Turned on down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. One strike now from Cole. Uh, had him reaching a thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. One out, nobody on. Tapper up the line. Bregman has it. Throw on to first, two gone. And with two away here in game one of the World Series, let's give you a little refresher course at the roads these two teams took to get where they are tonight. Stepping in, Franz Reyes. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. 
Cole gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. You know, Dero, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Miami down in order. They trail this one one to nothing. Here's George Springer, lifetime against Chris Sale. He has a 3-for-12 line. First delivery to him on the way. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. And flirting with danger on a changeup that missed high for a ball. The 1-1. One, one. Taken two. strike two. Sale stands 6-6 six, six and throws from the left side. It was selected in the first round back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. You're grinding so hard at the plate right there, expecting something on the corners, and what happens? Change up, middle cut. Your eyes light up, but you're just not able to barrel it up. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. George Springer becomes the first out of the inning. Into the box now, Kyle Tucker. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Now at the plate, Cam Gallagher. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch on its way. Boy, no. good bite on the slider, and it just missed inside. Two out, nobody on. Right. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Astros. Played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Garrett Cooper, as they'll look to get Leading something going bottom. here and even this game up. Eight front, Garrett Cooper. Here comes the first pitch. Here we go. Way out in front, Cole has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable, and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher. Walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters, and when you do that, it's a good recipe for success, and it's worked for him so far in his career. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Here's Chris Davis now as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. The 
1 0 home. Is chased out of the zone for strike one. Uh, fooled him badly there. I mean badly. It's one and two. Back up the middle. Flips it underhand. To second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Boy, that's about as easy as it comes. The chopper two hopper turns into a tailor-made 4-6-3 double play. In now, Julian Gonzalez. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0 and 1. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Cole has his target coming at him with the 0 and 1. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. The one two. Line drive to center field. Springer is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more from game one after this. So striding forward now, Nico Goodrum. Leading off we are all set to begin the first third inning in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Sharp inside. slider that time, just missed inside. Missed with a slider. Now ball two. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches. I think if right now you really have to try to get the best pitch you can get in the zone, you have to throw it right here. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Here now the two two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Line drive to left. Davis is there and he makes the catch for the out. Not a nice. Better. Garrett Cole. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Now the 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. A ball and two strikes to the Astros pitcher. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all, but hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Fouled off. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Sharp ground ball to third. And there are two away now. So it's back 
to the top of the order now. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. A ball and no strikes. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Astros go down one, two, three, but they hold a one nothing lead. Standing in, Luis Arias. He'll Leaving lead things off, off against Garrett Cole. Third baseman, Luis Arias. First offering on its way. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. That's now a check, check swing. swing. He appealed down to Earl Hendricks at third. No swing. It's ball one. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that, that was really eight. well executed, Matt. A classic Tucker. strikeout pitch. Uh -huh. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Slow roller back to the mound. And there's out number two. Adding nine. Edgar. Red. Now with the plate, Chris Sale. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at-bat. Start of that swing a bit too early. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0 and 2. Yeah, Maddie. Not only is this guy using all four quadrants, he's elevating, getting their eye level up with a quality fastball. Swing and a line drive, leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. Another look as he goes way up to get that one at short. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local station. Stepping into the box, Michael Brantley. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Fastball called for strike two. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0-2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Here's Carlos ah. Correa now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that is through into center field for a one out single. Hey, D Row, that's a one out single right there. And hey, the pitcher hasn't pitched out of the stretch in a while. He's been pretty sharp so far in this one. Yeah, and hopefully that runner right there can get his attention a little bit more diverted on first base, and then he leaves a cookie over the middle of the plate. Into the box, Alex Bregman. Strike one to start the at bat. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Uh -huh. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Hey, that's just a great pitch right there. Fastball at the bottom of the zone, right under the knee. It's interesting. 
I was a low ball hitter, so you could take the strike zone and go to the ground with it. I can live with that being called the strike. What I can't live with is above the belt getting popped. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Correa, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone, so I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Standing in now, George Springer. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One out count, going. here it is. Correa breaking for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. The throw is low, and he can't make the pick. He picked a good pitch to run on at that time, and it really paid off. A changeup down in the zone is a really tough pitch for the guy behind the plate to catch and throw on, so he didn't stand much of a chance there. Two balls and a strike. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Drilled on the ground is short. Gloved by Taylor. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Astros lead one, but they're up one to nothing. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Blitzak, Matt Baskerson, as Starling Marte steps in to start out the inning. Starling Marte! He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is line to left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And the Marlins have something cooking. It's a leadoff double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Into the box now, Chris Taylor. And he puts it on the ground to second. And there's one away. Right fielder, number 32, Franz Reyes. Into the box now, Franz Reyes. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss on a nice biting slider. One strike now from Cole. Swing and a ground ball to third. And the throw goes to first for the out, but that'll be enough to get the run home as they pull back to even at one and one. Good manufactured run right there. Lead off double, move him over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. First pitch of the at-bat. High and deep to center field. Back goes Springer at the track and he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning one more look at the final out a deep rattler if ever there was one back with more from game one after this now with the play Kyle Tucker he'll get his side started in the inning and Dan so far they've been stifled offensively since the first inning boy they sure have that they came out of the gates and got hot right away but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared we'll see if they can wake it back up 
really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. One and two. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Stepping in now, Cam Gallagher. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Hit down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Count still full three and two. Another full count pitch home. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting. Reverse pitches. Nico Goodrum. Now batting. Nico Goodrum hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. First delivery to him on the way. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. A bouncer to the left side. Taylor has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Astros. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Stepping up to the plate, Chris Davis, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A swing and a miss at one that almost hit him. Davis, sometimes called Crush with a K and an H. He was selected in the seventh round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Chris Davis sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Into the box, Julian Gonzalez. He grounds it sharply to third. Bregman fields it cleanly. Throw on the first, takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. For the Marlins, third baseman, Luis Arias. In now, Luis Arias. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Cole's ready. First pitch on the way. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Great execution of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. A swing and a miss at a ball down.
lifted the other way out to left center. After it is Brantley. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We played by full, tied at one aside. Digging in now, Garrett Cole. He's sent to lead us off in the sixth inning. First offering on its way. And a neck-high fastball that time. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Way in front of that fastball. Hey, that's another nice two-seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee, getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer. That's that number one. Well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two runs on the board, so both of these starters should feel really good about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Reyes moves over. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. The left fielder, number 23, Michael Brantley. Here's Michael Brantley. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. First pitch coming. Here it is. Fouled away. He's certainly done an amazing job right here grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking he would love to see three four five with no one on base next day ready with the nothing in one pitch another one fouled off and he's quickly behind Owen and two and struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning Astros go down one two three still tied one apiece At the play, Tucker Barnhart. He'll get things started here in the second the half of the sixth. After Tucker Barnhart. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Missed oh. with a slider. One oh. One, two. And this is fouled at the plate. Keep battling, young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. The one, two. Hard hit ball to second. And there's one down now. Now that Edgar. Red. Ready now, Chris Sale hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. He's ready, here's the first offering. This pitch is popped up, and he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now batting, Gunner Taylor, Darling Mark Perry. Here's Starling Marte. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First delivery to him on the way. 
swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First hit single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. In now, Chris Taylor. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One left for Miami. Score remains tied one to one. Welcome back to South Florida. Seventh inning coming up now in game one as we take a look here at our game summary through the first six innings so far. Here's Carlos Correa now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. First offering on its way. Squared that one up just a little late. A one count. Here's the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Marte going back. Gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His second of the game. And the Astros take the lead. It's two to one. This is going to be one of those moments we look back on in a couple years when we relive this World Series. That swing at a bat late in the game to take the lead, huge ball. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. Oh. He's 0 oh for 2 in the ball game so far. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Hard on the ground towards short. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Here's George Springer. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Well hit to right, but foul. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. On his way to second is Springer. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Into the box now, Kyle Tucker. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Davis is after it. Two gone. Now batting. Catcher. Damn. Dallas. Ready for another shot now. Cam Gallagher 0 for 2 for him to this point. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Springer at second with two down. And 
he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Astros get a run here, courtesy of the solo homer. Get up and stretch, two to one, Houston. Digging in once again, Franz Reyes. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. It puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on straight. On the first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seven. The batter, third baseman, Garrett Cooper. Stepping up now, Garrett Cooper. He flew out in his last at-bat. First delivery to him on the way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Springer giving chase, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The left is number four, Chris Davis. Here's Chris Davis now. He went down on strikes last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? Meanwhile now, this is trouble down that right field line. This should be extra bases. And hold all tickets now as the time run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Adam Conley is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Josh Reddick is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 22, Josh Reddick. Standing in now, Julian Gonzalez. Rip down the line. No hits to this point. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Good work there out of the Houston pen. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Astros two and the Marlins one. Jose Cazada has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Jose Cazada. Ready once again, Nico Goodrum. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. You like the modern style of baseball. Here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Outside and that one ball. just missed outside. Hey. 
chin high fastball that time ball three time to focus here this game is way too close to be walking guys so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Swing and a miss good pitch and it's full okay, now three and two. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Stepping in is Josh Reddick and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Reddick waiting and now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1. And there's ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. So a runner at first now with one away, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. First pitch of the at bat. No balls and one strike. A one pitch on its way. Grounded to short. Taylor's got it. One there. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. No real chance from the roll two oh, that time. It. He's just oh, too man. quick coming out of the batter's box. You basically have to make a perfect turn on a hard hit ball to double him up. Now they need to keep an eye on him over at first. Digging in to try it again. Michael Brantley. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Ball one. Altuve leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. This is flared out towards second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Here's Carlos Correa now, and it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet, so this could be a fun at-bat to watch. All right, Miami. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. 0-1 the count. Two runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Oh and two here it comes a little bouncer that's a foul ball. The O2 once more misses that's ball one big spot right here that's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate hit sharply on the ground. The first, and the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Astros lead this one two to one. Striding 
in. Luis Arias. Leading off for the ball. for two thus far in this Third. one. Luis Arias. First delivery to him on the way. This is lined to left. Coming on is Brantley, but he won't get there. It's a base hit. With that, the Marlins get a good start to the inning with their leadoff man aboard. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. Brings the go-ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It'd be interesting to see how the manager plays this here as with the potential tying run aboard they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there stepping in now Tucker Barnhart standing in from the right side as he takes strike one on a line to third. Altuve for one on the first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. as there are quickly two away now. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. Roberto Ozuna enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Christian Optimus will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one scores would play the eighth. Here we go. He's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 oh, 2. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Marlins down quietly. They're down 2 1. Always a party in Miami Beach, not too far from us here at Marlins Park, set to begin the ninth inning in this one. Angel Bielma is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Now playing third base, number 12. Tyler Kinney enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Riding into the box, Alex Bregman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. This is high, a ball and a strike. We're playing 11, 1-1. One, one. Helping run. him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Here's a look at the final line for the Marlins starting pitcher. And he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. Here's George Springer. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Takes a knee high fastball. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Ready with the two and two. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo home run here off the bat of George Springer his first homer here in the series and with it the Astros have taken a three to one lead. The bullpen is going to have to take care of business in the bottom half of this inning but they're going to be able to throw a lot freer that they've got that extra run to play with. Insurance runs are always huge. Tony Kemp will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 18, Tony. Fastball in there for a called strike. Where this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Solo shot to right center. His first homer so far in the series, and the Astros have taken a 4-1 to lead. Well, any insurance run you could put on the board this late in the game feels like two runs. That's how important they are. They're up three now and only need three more outs to end this one. See if they can close the deal. In now, Cam Gallagher as he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Sometimes you just can't overthink it. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything else? Case in point, this guy's cold zone is away, and this pitcher keeps attacking that exact spot. The 0-2 pitch. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box, Nico Goodrum. This is hit softly to third. A little trouble handling this one down there at third as that will end the inning. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. It's the Astros four and the Marlins one. Chris Davinsky takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Starling Marte. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. He's not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Wind up and the 0-1. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Two is left. Correa. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. The pattern number three, shortstop, Chris Taylor. Standing in, Chris Taylor. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
line toward center field. And that will make him one for four in this one. Dan, how frustrating is that right there? You execute your spot, keep the ball down below the zone, and the hitter's still able to execute and drive it up the middle. Well, that's one of the things, Mark, as a pitcher, you're taught to work down in the zone. You're not always going to have the ball hit for one of your fielders, but if you consistently keep the ball down in the zone, good things will happen. Into the box now, Franz Reyes. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready with the 0 1. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Looking for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Stepping in now. Garrett Cooper as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh one here's the pitch and this is swung on and missed so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Taylor the runner at first with two gone Miami down to their last strike hit hard on the ground towards second and the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now and if you're the manager you've got to love that about your team they were down to their last strike but they refused to go down without a fight so they live to fight some more. Here's Chris Davis now. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at bat. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. No doubt, some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Two down, runners at first and second. away has them down to their final strike here it comes ball two is in the air to right and this should do it he's got it and the Astros have swung home field advantage around right from the start they take game one of the World Series on the road as this ball game is over hey it's hard to win games at any point but to win games on the road especially in this ballpark so they are very happy with this win One more 
at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. one finish in this evening's game. The Houston Astros win the World Series opener and take a 1-0 lead. Garrett Cole earns the victory on the mound. Chris Sale pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Marlins, one run, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 56 minutes. Thanks for joining us this evening. And please drive home safely.